The terrible, horrible, no good, very bad antenna. Why do I like them? What do I use them for? Why do I have so darn many of them? This time on KMRD Radio Stuff. Now I know what some of you guys are saying. You're saying, Mike, why would you want an antenna that performs so badly? Well, sometimes I don't want my signal to get out very far. I want to attenuate the signal. What if you're in a small group in the middle of the woods running away from bad guys? You don't want your signal to get out that far. You want to keep it just within your group. I, that's a play scenario, obviously, but what do I use these for? I use these for my hotspots. I've got three hotspots. I've got two dedicated for DMR and I've got one dedicated for D-Star. So I put these on my DMR radios. I've got an Islands HD1 and a Radioddity GD10, whatever the heck it is. But I can also put these on my ICOM 705 because it comes in BNC. So you get a little right angle adapter and you make it go on your 705. If you want to put them on your bow fangs, put them on your bow fangs. If you want to put them on your ICOM radios, put them on your ICOM radios for D-Star. They're also incredibly cheap. The first set I bought years and years ago, I think I got a three pack. I can only find them in two packs or four packs now, but a two pack of these will set you back about 10 bucks and a four pack will set you back about 15 bucks. So kind of hard to uh, miss out. I got them on Amazon from a company called Bingfu. Uh, I'll leave some affiliate links in the description, but if you just search soft antenna, you'll find them. Yeah, I know, soft antenna. Well, they are, so. <laughs> Most handheld radios don't have a power output less than one watt, but when I'm using a hotspot, I could go for like a tenth of a watt and it would be fine. I'm going from here to my hotspot that's 10 feet away. I don't need all this power. So these things are gonna actually attenuate my signal because I don't wanna be transmitting very far. I wanna go from here to there and that's it. And they're great. They're also very rugged. I mean, these things are intended to bend. I suspect it's just a spring in there and they're awesome. You, you, you can just beat the crap out of them. They're low profile on your radios too. So even it, for things like field day where you're just on a simplex frequency and you're all talking amongst your group within a you know, 100 meter radius, call it, you don't need to be transmitting any farther. You're not trying to talk to anyone any farther. So having antennas like this serve a real world purpose other than uh, just for use with hotspots. I absolutely love these things. How good are these things? Eh, probably not very good. I, I would suspect the SWR is pretty horrible. So let's hop on the bench. I'm gonna hook this up to uh, my antenna analyzer. I'm gonna try and use a counterpoise and try and get as, as good a look at the SWR on a, on a handheld antenna. I realize that's a bit of a challenge, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it anyway. And then I'll show you what I can achieve with the 705 with the SWR. And I think uh, we'll be pleasantly surprised. So let's hop on the bench and take a look at what these things do. So we've got the antenna on the analyzer. I went ahead and made a quick, uh, this is about a 16 centimeter counterpoise wire, which my app said was a quarter wave at 446 megahertz. So we'll go ahead and check it. Let's turn her on and see what we get. 3.6 to one. <laughs> That's great. Absolutely terrible. So is it resonant anywhere in the 70 centimeters? Probably not. I wouldn't expect it to be. Yeah, it's terrible. What does it look like without a counterpoise? A little bit worse. If we touch it, you know, sometimes they say our body acts as the counterpoise. That's not doing anything. It is confirmed to not be a good antenna. What does it look like on two meters? It's better ish not really it's pretty terrible so let me put on a two meter counterpoise and we'll see what that does here's a 19 inch piece of wire that i made for a counterpoise for my 705 when i use the signal stick does this make anything better not really <laughs> We got 1.9 there for a second. Yeah, so like, I mean, that's that's not terrible. 1.8, 1.9. That's not terrible for an HT antenna, honestly. What does it look like without the counterpoise here? A 
goes up to 2.6. So yeah, the counterpoise is working a little bit. Now let's take a look at what we can do with the 705. No counterpoise, just the antenna. See, we key up, we're well over three, but we can kind of finagle it a little bit, get it, get it at least under three to one there. I've gotten it uh, as low as about 2.5 to one. Now keep in mind, my power is at 2%, so very, very low. If we crank this all the way up, see our SWR gets up. Uh, but for low power, that's all you need, KMRD. So why do I like these crappy little antennas so much? Well, because I can do this. KMRD monitoring toads. Anyone got a second for a signal check? Hey, Mike. Uh, yeah, W0VAN, North of Atlanta here. Uh, here you just fine. Ah, very good, uh, W0DAN, this is Kate, I'm already, ah, thanks for coming back, just uh, making a short video here on uh, some, some really horrible, terrible stubby antennas that I use for my DMR HTs. Yeah, Roger, that. you don't need much, right, when it's uh, <laughs> uh, arms length away, I agree with you, but uh, yeah, it works good. Yeah, Roger, just... Uh, I'm making a video. These things are great for attenuating the signal for those that have hot spots because I don't want my signal to, to go out everywhere. So they, uh, they work pretty darn good for, for being a, basically a dummy load. I think it's just a spring inside a soft rubber sleeve. Yeah, I've got a handful of those laying around here too. See? Well, good deal. Well, hey, thanks for coming back. I uh, appreciate it. Just wanted to get some on air with this. And uh, I'll say 73. Thanks for, uh, thanks for making the contact. Appreciate it. This is Kate MRD. So there we have it. Works just as designed. So there we have it. The crappiest antennas that I love to love. I'll leave some affiliate links in the description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at KMRD, and we will see you on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.